Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. This week is huge. We got our first look at the new International Space Station set, more from LEGO Masters, and five new sets coming from LEGO Minions. But before we jump into it, I'm going to kick off another round of the weekly giveaway, so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. I may still be a little sick, but there's still some sick deals coming out of Amazon, so if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, there's always links in the description below. First up from LEGO Architecture, we've got the Empire State Building for 15% off, and the Statue of Liberty for 20% off. And from the LEGO Movie 2, we've got Battle Rowdy Batman and Metal Beard for 25% off with that great Batman minifigure. And they still have some great discounts from LEGO Overwatch, LEGO City, and more from the LEGO Movie 2, so if you want to check any of these deals out, check out the links in the description below. And since yesterday, the brand new Chinese New Year sets, the Chinese New Year Temple Fair, and Lion Dance are now available. So there's also links below for those amazing new sets. Next up in LEGO Ideas News, thanks to PixLED and the fine folks over at Promo Bricks, we get our first look at the LEGO Ideas International Space station set, which was featured on this store flyer handed out at the Nuremberg store to celebrate this designer event. The set itself has a pretty cool look, and I just really appreciate getting to see the set after all this time. The solar panels are well built out and articulatable, and just underneath them, it seems like there's going to be some stands. The main center section has all sorts of great space greeblies, and it's even rotatable. And there's even some small additional builds of a space shuttle and a satellite. Looking back at the original submission, it's clear that they kept in a lot of very similar builds. While this definitely won't be my favorite LEGO Ideas set, I do like the build overall, and I can't wait to see more when we get the official pictures. Next up in LEGO Minions news, we'd gotten this scan in the recent 2020 catalog, but we now have the English version of the page. Thanks to the folks over at Candid Bricks, we can see that this one says, Look who's coming. But zooming in, we get our first confirmation that we'll be getting five brand new sets coming this May. As we look through pictures of the original Mega Block sets, it's very clear that the Minion sets could go in a hundred different directions. And I'm most mostly curious to see how these minifigures will turn out, and if they'll use a similar system like they did with the new Trolls line, where there's a base element that all the variations can be built up on. While I know that the Minions line won't be everyone's favorite, I'm a huge minifigure fan and a fan of strange sets, so I can't wait to see what's going to come out, and we'll likely get our first look when we get a trailer closer to the movie's release. So definitely stay tuned for more updates closer to May. Next up in LEGO Masters news, the marketing machine has really turned it up with so many new TV spots and commercials posted to their YouTube channel. And all this is definitely getting me even more hyped up for the February premiere. But looking closer, in one of the trailers, I noticed a breakdown of all of the pending challenges. And looking at everything here, the contestants are definitely going to have their work cut out for them. Here we can see one of the early challenges, the Dream Park, where all the contestants are going to have to build an unbelievable theme park. But we also found out this week, in addition to the newly revealed head judge, Jamie Bernard, a LEGO designer, we're also going to be getting guest judges each week. So let's break down everything we know. First up here we can see Big Bang Theory actress Maya Bialik, who actually has a minifigure, who will be joining to help out with the space-themed episode. Next up we've got Brooklyn Nine-Nine actor and LEGO fan Terry Crews, who will be helping out with the Good vs. Evil episode. Next up we've got comedian and Nailed It host Nicole Byer, who's going to be helping out with a storybook theme episode. And finally we've got LEGO movie directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller to help out on a movie-themed episode. But the craziness won't stop there, and we have a Star Wars challenge coming up that will have guest appearances from BB. 8, R2-D2, and C-3PO. With $100,000 on the line, I'm thinking we're going to be seeing some really amazing builds, and I can't wait to see it when the show starts on February 5th. Next up in Toy Fair news, it seems that LEGO will be back this year at the 2020 London Toy Fair. According to this year's map, it looks like LEGO will be back in the large Olympia room, and I'm definitely eager to find out if we're going to get any fun reveals. And while I imagine there will be something, there's still the Nuremberg and New York Toy Fairs, so there could be a lot more in store. Next up, this week in LEGO stores, they had a building event for the newsstand to complement the new bookshop modular. I was lucky enough to participate, and I scanned in my copy of the instructions in case any of you guys want to build this newsstand for yourself. At 155 pieces, the build is quite substantial, and there's even printed pieces and a minifigure, so it might be the best make-and-take event ever. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you ever want to see my photos of these events like this one. And speaking of LEGO stores, thanks to the folks over at Promo Bricks, we've got a look at the new new minifigure parts coming to the build a minifigure bin at stores. The first minifigures include some exclusive characters with tons of great new parts. The pink elephant is a great recolor of that part, and we even get this brand new ice wizard minifigure, not to mention a recolor of the Santa hat in white. And there's also some fun recolors like the bike helmet hair combo and some great new torsos, like this one on the left featuring a Lego version of Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, and a great new Year of the Rat torso with awesome back printing. Next up in LEGO Movie 2 news, the movie was 
nominated for Outstanding Visual Effects in an Animated Feature from the Visual Effects Society. And as a huge fan of the movie, it's awesome seeing that the movie's being recognized in this way, and I just wish it would have gotten more praise overall. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, with the end of 2019, we also have the full list of who's going to be part of the third 2019 LEGO review, with 12 projects hitting 10,000 supporters. First, we've got Queen, I Want to Break Free. Then Seinfeld, 30th Anniversary. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Stables. Planet Express, Delivery Ship. Ratatouille, Open the Doors. LEGO Typewriter, The Legend of the Bionicle. The Waskar, Winter Chalet. Toronto Rocket Subway Train. Home Alone McAllister's House. And Clockwork Aquarium. There's so many great ones in this, and I'm probably rooting the most for Seinfeld, Planet Express, and Ratatouille. But honestly, there's so much here to love, like the Breath of the Wild and Home Alone sets, so we'll have to wait and see. And don't forget the second 2019 LEGO review results will be coming early 2020, so you can expect to hear something about these soon. Don't forget that this week also marks the start of the Year of the Rat promotion, where starting January 13th, you can get this set for free with a purchase over $80. The set is quite simple, but it's great to get another in this line, and it is a bit poseable with ears, tail, and head that can turn, so you're definitely going to want to pick this one up. Next up in LEGO City news, thanks to Brick fans, we've got our first look at the LEGO City Duke's Mission book, which like most books in this line, feature a comic story and puzzles for kids to do. And the book even features LEGO City Adventures character Duke's Detain as well as this small drone build, which is pretty nice inclusion. Though there isn't currently any word on when this will come out or if there are pre-orders available. So there you have it folks, that was this week in bonus LEGO news, and definitely a lot to be excited about, especially the LEGO Ideas Space Station, the craziness that is LEGO Masters, and what the heck will come from LEGO Minions. I'm super excited to watch the LEGO Masters series when it comes out, and let me know if you guys want some sort of episode by episode breakdown. And be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below because it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because because I've got more LEGO news coming next Saturday. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring LEGO Fast and the Furious and crazy Steve Harvey drama and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.